Different transactions involve different types of warranties, including express warranties and implied warranties of fitness for a particular purpose. But is it possible to sell something without any warranty at all? The court considered that question in Schneider v. Miller. Harold Schneider, a practicing lawyer, learned that Miller's used car lot had a 1966 Chevy Impala SS for sale. After Schneider took the car for a test drive, he asked about squeaky brakes. Miller told Schneider that the brakes needed to be replaced, that the rusted trunk needed repair, and that the engine might need to be rebuilt. Schneider and Miller agreed on a purchase price. Schneider paid for the car, then signed a bill of sale and a separate document, both stating that the car was sold as is, with no warranty, and took possession. A few days later, Schneider took the car to a repair shop to fix the brakes and trunk. He then discovered that the entire underside of the car was rusted out and barely attached to the frame. It couldn't be repaired and wasn't safe to drive. At the time Schneider bought this car, he owned another 1966 Impala. That car also had underbody rusting problems. Schneider sought to rescind the sale. When Miller refused, Schneider sued him for breach of warranty and for violation of Ohio's Consumer Protection Act. After a trial, the trial court entered judgment for Miller on all claims. Schneider appealed to the Ohio Court of Appeals.